How do you add LUTs to PowerDirector 365 or PowerDirector 19? They actually did a change and they moved things around. Now, if you look here, normally we would click this and we go to Fix and Enhance and in this area is where the LUTs would be. They took it out, they moved it. Literally, they moved it. If you want to get to the LUTs in PowerDirector 19, we have to actually go to the FX room. Is where we have to go. Now, once we're there, we're into our color presets. Look at that. They're all located in this section. Now, if I want, and I want to add one of these, say, to my video, the way you do it here, let's say I want to go a little darker. And I'll grab that and bring it down, and I put it right on top. And you'll notice it made it darker. What if I want to go darkest? And I'm just dragging and dropping. So it will change the looks of our video. And that's what LUTs do. They'll give you different colors in different areas, make them darker, make more of an effect. That's the reason I think they went and put it in the effects room, because they're looking at a LUT as an effect, which kind of makes sense. But let's say I don't want that LUT. Say I want my video back to normal. Now you can hit Control Z or Control Z, however you say it in your country, or you click on the video. You notice there's nothing on this line. Click on the video, click Effect, and we can click the minus sign here, and that will remove whatever LUT we've applied to it. So we can start over. This drop down box shows you some quick LUTs if you want to look at them. But then it was like, well, how do I import a LUT? Because I've been looking at buying a Panasonic G5 camera lately, and their website gave a whole bunch of free LUTs that I came across. And probably most camera sites do that. So then I got thinking to myself that, well, wait a minute, can I bring these LUTs into PowerDirector and use them in my videos now, even though I don't have a Panasonic G5 camera? Well, lo and behold, I found out I could. So up here in this little corner, right under File, you'll see this. And if I put my mouse over it, it says Import Media. But if I actually click it, it then says import color presets and cluts. This thing's really hidden. So I click this and then it opens up a screen. And here's all my LUTs I got from Panasonic. Now, Panasonic offers three variations and I'll have a link in the bottom. They have the EE and the EL. It doesn't matter which one of these two you use. This one does not work. The VLTSEL does not work. Okay. So if I go in here, all these LUTs I can bring in. So let's say I want to see what this one looks like. And I say open. And it does whatever it needs to do. Where is it? It's under imported here. Do you see that? Just under colored LUTs. So there it is. So the one I brought in was this one. And I can drop it on now. And boom, I got another LUT. I wonder if I can import them all at once, or do I got to do them one at a time? Open. No. What I did was I held down my shift, I went to the top, clicked on the top one, then I went to the bottom and held my shift button down and clicked the bottom one and said, put them all in. And that's what it's doing right now. It's actually importing every single LUT that I downloaded from the Panasonic website. And like I said, I'll have a link to the Panasonic website where you can download the LUTs, unzip them, and add them to your PowerDirector 19 or 365 or whatever you're running. But it was quite confusing when I was looking around and I was like, I don't think it exists in PowerDirector 19. I actually had uh, sent a uh, message in the forum and uh, one of the guys there pointed me where the changes had taken place and I was like, hmm. So, do I like this better than last? I do like the change. I just wish the icon up here for importing 
was a little bit more in the way of maybe this box should have been moved over and maybe it should have said import LUT beside the box with the text and it might have made it more user friendly because this was not user friendly whatsoever when I was cruising around looking at every little icon saying there's got to be a way to do this and it took me a little while to figure it out and I don't even think in the docs it said where to go to import it I don't think that was in there when I was reading the docs so as you see, we're at 89%, 92% of importing all those LUTs in one shot. Got to have some patience, let them load. And they will all be imported, and there they are. So it gives us a bit of a look, you know, of which one you like. So let's say I want to go this one. This one's nicest. Drop it on. And that is kind of nice for just looking at different LUTs and grabbing them and basically do what I want to do. Now, one thing you could do is you could rename these on your hard drive to my favorite LUT or whatever, and then import it, and then you'll know exactly which ones you like and which ones you don't like. But overall, this is how you actually add LUTs to PowerDirector 19 or 365. That's kind of cool looking, the where it goes high in it puts more on uh, the it brings it down a little darker but the reds come up a little higher which one did I use um, go to effect that was the one 33 EE okay go back right here I was aggressive Ooh. So anyhow, there's a quick tutorial in PowerDirector 19 and CyberLink 365 on what has changed in LUTs on your system if you weren't aware of it. And in the description box, I'll have a link to the Panasonic website where you can download their LUTs for free. And you might want to check the other camera sites like Canon and all the rest because they probably got a whole bunch of free LUTs you could be using in PowerDirector too. Catch you guys on the next one.